So if we drop two objects together, one which is a bit heavier, another one which is a bit lighter, common sense tells us that the heavier one has more mass, so it should fall faster. Wait, if we take out all the air, everything from this room and do the same experiment again, they fall at the very same time. Why? So there are two things here that we have to keep in mind when we drop anything in this world. First, the gravitational force and the mass of the object. Acceleration of an object is equal to force time its mass. So, acceleration here is the rate at which objects fall. F, the force, is the gravitational force acting on the object and M, it's its own mass. A heavier object will have a bigger force on it, but it will also have more mass. On the other hand, lighter objects have less mass and even have less force of gravity on them. So the end result is always 9.8 meter per second square, which is acceleration due to gravity. Gravitational pull and the mass of the object always cancel out each other so perfectly that every ratio turns out to be 9.8 meter per second square. So more massive an object, it will have a greater attractive pull from the earth, but it also has its own mass, which tries to resist any motion, tries to remain in the same position as it was before. But here on earth, there is air resistance. So heavier objects fall faster. But if we did the same thing without air, the feather and the rock will land at the very same time. Want some proof? Let my astronaut friends show you a demonstration done on the moon where there is no air resistance. Well, in my left hand I have a, a feather, in my right hand a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Well, I'm fine. That proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. So guys, this was it for today. I know I didn't upload any video the previous Thursday. I was a bit unwell. It was the first Thursday I missed in a year. But I will keep uploading every Thursday from here on. So please do like the video, share the video with friends, subscribe for all the future videos. If you want to check out my previous videos, click the link in the description or the thumbnails on the screen right now. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.